The electric field strength, which is denoted by the um, capital, uh, the letter capital E, uh, it's a vector. So in a textbook you'll see it written in bold, but if you're writing it, um, really you should uh, denote it as a vector. Is defined as the force per unit charge um, or at a particular point. So uh, if we were to have um, a test charge, so let's say we've got this particle here, which has a charge of Q1. This charged particle will create an electric field around it. Now, if we bring in a test charge called Q0, and we place it anywhere in this field, it will experience a force as a result of the field created by this particle Q1. And the, the magnitude um, and direction of that force will give us a reading for the electric field strength at that particular point. Uh, and you can imagine as you move closer or further away from this charged particle, that uh, field strength reading will vary. So the electric field is a, a map, if you like, of the force that a test charge would feel at any point um, around the charged particle where that, uh, where that field exists. Uh, so a high electric field strength would um, mean that a test charge would feel a very strong force and that force would become weaker as you move further away from the particle that's creating the field. And that's all it is. It's a map, really, of the, the force that a particle would feel. One thing to bear in mind is that this test charge um, has to be small in comparison to this Q1 charge. If this test charge is large, it will affect the field that Q1 creates. So you want Q1 to be really big and Q0 to be tiny in order to get a good reading for what the electric field strength is.